Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing JE Advanced 2019, Paper 1, Mathematics. And the question for this video is this. Let omega not equal to 1 be a cube root of unity. Then the minimum of the set having elements mod a plus b omega plus c omega whole square where a, b, c are distinct non-zero integers equals. So basically, uh, we have been asked to find the minimum value of this expression mod a plus b omega plus c omega square ka whole square given that omega is not equal to 1 and it is a cube root of unity. So that means it is a it is an imaginary cube root of unity. Here a, b, c are supposed to be distinct non-zero integers. So as we explore this expression, since we can always say that mod of z square is z z bar, I can say mod of a plus b omega plus c omega square whole square is essentially z z bar. So a plus b omega plus c omega square. And since a, b, c are integers, they are definitely real. So when you take conjugate of this whole expression, it essentially becomes a plus b conjugate of omega is omega square and conjugate of omega square is omega. Now as we expand, it essentially becomes a square plus b square plus c square minus ab minus bc minus ca. You just have to multiply term by term. So this essentially becomes half times a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square and this is a very popular expression. Now to minimize the value of this expression, given that a, b, c are supposed to be distinct integers, the best we can do to minimize is take a, b, c as consecutive integers. Why? Because for a minus b whole square to be minimum, a and b should be as close as possible. Similarly, b, c should be as close as possible and c, a should be as close as possible. So the best we can do to minimize is to take Given that a, b, c are all distinct, we take a, b, c as consecutive integers. In which case, you can check it out by taking a, b, c as 1, 2, 3 or 57, 58, 59 or whatever you wish. And you'll find that the minimum value that we get is essentially half times 1 square plus 1 square plus 2 square essentially, which essentially becomes half times 6, which is 3. 3 is the answer. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.